Question 20 is going to be all about coordinates. So we've got a line A, M and B, and we've got some coordinates there. We've got point C as well at the bottom. It says A is the point 10 across 60 up, B is the point 20 across 20 up, M is the midpoint of the line A to B. Write the coordinates of M. So put very simply, we've got to find where M is. Now then, easiest thing to do here is to draw a line straight down from A and draw a line straight down from B. Well, A is 10 across, so this number must be 10. B is 20 across, so this number must be 20. And M is in between that, it is the midpoint. So what is the middle of 10 and 20? Easy answer, 15. So M must be 15 across. We use 10, 15, 20. So that is the first part of the answer for M. So it must be 15 across. But now we need to find how far up M is. So let's get a different colour and do a similar sort of thing up. So A, draw a line across to there, that is 60 up. B is 20 up, so if we draw a line across, that must be level with 20. Now M is halfway between, so this is a gap of from 20 to 60 is 40, so there must be 20 either side to get to the middle, so you can either go up 20 on top of 20 to get to 40, or down 20 from 60 to get to 40. Either way, you should find out that in between 20 and 60 is 40. So if B is 20 up, and A is 60 up, and M is in the middle of that, M must be 40 up. So that's the second part of the coordinate, 40 up. For the final part, it says that point C is on the x-axis directly below B. Write the coordinates of C. Well, point C, if we just get rid of these numbers here, if we're coming along from the corner of the graph to point C, we're coming along level with point B, and we already know that point B is 20 across. So point C must also be 20 across. So that's the first part of the answer, 20. But the question is, how far up is point C? Well, point C is on the x-axis, which means we don't go up at all. It's level with a zero. So we've gone 20 across and then zero up. So that is the second part. 20 across, 0 up. And there's your two answers.